Yo, yo, yo. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Gio, man. I'm back with another one. Um, This one is about your boy Diddy, man. They said that he got a lot of people that's coming up, coming forward. And a lot of them is just like some youngins and a whole bunch of stuff, man, that he gonna have on trial with, man. And then, you know, you got the Meek Mill trying to spend 100 k to, to get his records, everything taken off and disappeared, eliminated and uh, then they're saying that you know, your girl Chloe uh, with well, the Kardashians, period, they're on the run because they like one of the biggest party goers that attended, besides some others but they was one of the big dogs that attended all the time, so they on the run man, like, they gotta get out of Dodge, man it's going down, it's going down man, like, it's a serious business man and I know everybody is going crazy, man. I can only imagine how all these celebrities feeling right now, you know. But then also, man, they, they got something, man, about your boy Jay-Z. I'm going to put both of these together just because Jay-Z and Diddy, they like brothers, best friends, whatever you want to say. You know what I mean? Uh, they said that uh, allegedly, and I'm all this is allegedly, man, it's just this stuff that, you know, alleged. That's all I'm going to say, you know, uh, don't pin me for it, but uh, they're saying that Kathy White, you know, is uh, Blue Ivy's mom, so Beyonce knows, she know that uh, Blue Ivy is not her daughter, allegedly, they're saying that it's Kathy White's, and she was taken out after she said she was going to go public about her relationship with Jay-Z while she was dating Beyonce, and uh, of course, you know, Queen B ain't going to want that. She ain't gonna let that slide. She gonna want, she gonna want out of here. You know what I mean? And that's what happened. You know, um, y'all gotta check this whole thing out, man. Let me know what y'all think on this one, man. Drop some comments below, man. You know what I'm saying? If you if you feel bad for Jay Z or uh, P Diddy, drop that in the comments. If you feel like this is what they had coming to them for allegedly all the things that they've done, and it's you know what goes around come back. Or how they say what goes around comes around and it then came back around to them. Go ahead and drop that in the comment or whatever you feel as far as, you know, what you feel. And just let me know. Let's chime in on it. Let's talk about it. Um, I will be setting a live up on this stuff soon. Um, it will be coming up, man. And uh, y'all stay tuned, man. I appreciate all the love and support, man, that y'all give me, man. I really do. It's only up for here, man. And, uh. Stay warm, stay safe, man. Enjoy the nice weather. If you at somewhere with some nice weather, uh, salute to the ones that's going through this terrible hurricane times, man. Especially Florida, man. You know, I got fam out there too, man. So it's, you know, it's a bad timing for those type of areas. But you know, stay warm, stay safe, man. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Can you believe this six-year-old boy was once a guest at Diddy's infamous white party? The disgraced mogul has his arm draped around a young Justin Levtosky back in 1999. Justin is now 31 and tells Inside Edition about taking that photo. He put his arm around me in an uncomfortable way, close to... Um areas that you shouldn't as a as a grown man he recalls what he saw at the party so i remember marijuana um and topless women that's the two main things that i remember so how'd he end up there well his father david allen was diddy's photographer snapping pictures of party goers in the hamptons justin's mom maya was also there she says the party was family friendly at first but then turned raunchy. People were getting high. There were girls swimming topless, young looking girls that were, you know, not dressed. We moved to another part of the house so that he wouldn't be exposed um, to what was going on. In later years, Diddy implemented a curfew for children. The kids had like an hour left. So get extra comfortable. But this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't want to come to. I think he's a monster. I've been watching Vlad creepy crawl his way through black culture for a long time. And the truth is, the reason why he can say all the things that he say and get away with it are because so many black people have co-signed him. Y'all remember not long ago when the feds ran up in Boosie's house? He blamed Vlad for it. And then all of a sudden, 
everything's okay again. And now him and Vlad are friends again. No, your government person, whoever it was, told y'all y'all had to be friends on social media again so you could keep collecting evidence against hip hop. y'all do see the biggest problem that they have is that whatever crimes i've committed the statute of limitation is ran out on just like we can't see see what works for the goose work it works for the gander he should be sitting in jail for that video with cassie and for every other video with him beating a bitch he should you're a fool if you trust Vlad. And if you trust Vlad completely, you're an op or a cop. Am I wrong, honey? Yeah. Jaguar Wright is known to be a conspiracy theorist. Uh, I don't really co-sign anything that she says. Uh, I've never had her on my show, and I don't have any plans to have her on my show. Um, you don't believe her? She got an album in 20 years, and a lot of this stuff is just stuff she's heard, things she's making up, and so forth. Uh, I'm not saying that there aren't serious things that Diddy may have done, but, yeah, I can't co-sign anything that Jaguar Wright is saying. Going back to P. Diddy, I was given information this morning again. You know, people are concerned that this is going to be like Epstein, that it'll be so locked up, the FBI has control of it, nobody will ever see it. There are multiple of these tapes. There was blackmail against blackmail. Everybody was blackmailing everybody else, and they had copies of it. So there's probably 10, 15 copies at least of some of this stuff, and it's coming out. There was an attorney out of Texas uh, who addressed the nation yesterday. He's got 120 clients, uh, a class action lawsuit. He says the names in the music business, the names in Hollywood are going and politics will blow your mind. It is the greatest scandal in the history of the United States. Uh, somebody else said today, I don't remember who said it, but what is coming is going to absolutely destroy Hollywood and the music industry forever. Forever. Wow. And I would honestly... I would add to it. I would say the sports industry. Yes. Yep. Because there is me a lot of these, uh, which God has warned about, that there was going to be major players. It's going to be commissioners. They're all involved in this kind of thing. They've been covering up stuff. They've been using things. They have ties to China. They have ties to the sex trafficking. Uh, the sports industry has a lot to answer for. And so, all these seven mountains of influence that guy's been talking about, they're going to come crashing and crumbling down. It's like you said, the house of cards is, is crashing down because guy is waiting. A lot of people are out like, oh, this is too late. This is too late. And, oh, my gosh. Now they're going to steal another election. Hmm. No, he let them do the last one. Yep. So look at all the stuff in this last three and a half years of the reign of this regime of Biden and Kamala. Look at my people have turned away from that party. I'm trying to visit. Are you playing games, boy? No. Get up out of here. He's playing. housed in here. Hey, get up out of here. It's, you games. haven't seen him? You playing games now. Go on now, because I thought you were for real. You're breaking the sun. You're trying to get off that couple sun. Out here with all that foolishness. Out of here with the foolishness. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you again now. Nah. When you come back in here again, you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Get on out of here while you got feet. When is that coming, that Lamborghini? We talked about this last he time. He had the Lamborghini for a day or two, and he had <laughs> access to the house, and he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> well, apparently not. Some things, everything ain't for everybody. King! What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? Man. How you doing? Happy Easter. The Combs Cartels really doing it. These guys are amazing. God bless you. Too swaggy, man. I, I, know, I, know the, I know the drip is looking immaculate right now. You got the chain. Man, Easter, <laughs> no God bless you guys. Through. You know what? No matter what's happening, families all together, uh, the love and support, uh, it's been amazing. You know, your dad has been such an inspiration to me, such a friend, uh, a brother, a mentor. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely love, and love how close you guys are as a family. It, it inspires me to be the best father and husband that I can be. I absolutely love you guys, the whole family. And so you know what? You. First you know person that. to say, let's do something right. really right. special for people out there, healthcare workers, people out there that are at risk 
Um, so I told him, you know, anything, you just asked me to come and I'm coming over. So we're here and we got a little treat for you guys. Uh -oh. I got the next in line. Uh -oh. I got the heir to the throne. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, boy? That's Hello. Patty Pat. Hey, Patty Pat, what's up? Y'all got something special for us? Say hi to P. Diddy. When Drewski got a little too comfortable at Diddy's house. Oh, shit. I knew I was supposed to be living like this, man. I always knew. Welcome, Mr. Drewski. It's a cold town, Mr. Drewski. <laughs> Mr. Drewski Combs now. <laughs> I'm waiting on the girls to come up in here. I know you got them. Right here, we have a world-class piano okay. that no one has okay. ever touched before. Damn. Yes, it's a wonderful one. Woo, y'all got some nice shit in here, man. It smell like puff in here. Ah, what y'all want to do? Which one I want to wear today? Woo! Can't do without the silk! Ballers, Woo! Mr. Vincent! Baller shot caller! Spread love, baby! Spread love! <laughs> Owned by a black man. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> like selling your soul is like, it's like if I, it's like if somebody tells you to do something this, that doesn't align with your morals and principles. You get what right. I'm saying? I could have did one or two things. And and been what I'd, I'd have been about at, about the five hundred million mark by now. Facts, facts. It was four hundred thousand a day for me for the rest of that year, twenty twenty. Like four hundred thousand. We ain't talking about after parties. We ain't talking about any other uh, business relationships that got fucked up through it. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't talking about none of the other shit. If I'm just talking about what was already on the calendar, you get what I'm saying? It was yeah, it was sweet. I was up out of here. I was gonna have that, that Tyler Perry motherfucker that runway in the in the backyard. Right. Facts. What do you want, 50? Why are you visiting me? I just wanted to ask you a couple questions for the documentary I'm making about your downfall, Diddy. Why would I help you out? I could put some money on your books, get you a TV, PlayStation 2. There's nothing that would make me help you out. Not even for some baby oil? Baby oil? This whole drum can be yours, Diddy. All you gotta do is give me some more details. Who else was in those freak offs? Jay-Z, Leo, Pix and Jayla will also work. No, I won't do it. Now I gotta get back to my cell and screw my cellmate Sam's boobs. Oh, God, not again. 